Welcome back to Talk About Topeka. And today we have Bill Bunton here with us from SCORE Inc. and not the former mayor, Bill Bunton. You're your own Bill Bunton in your own right. That is correct. <laughs> <laughs> but we're so excited to have you here with us. And SCORE actually at one point stood for something, S-C-O-R-E, but now it is its own name. It's just SCORE Inc. It was the Service Corps of Retired Executives. The people in Washington that sponsor us decided to eliminate the retired because we're looking for volunteers that are not retired yeah. to become SCORE volunteers. Now, you guys do some really great stuff. The uh, SCORE program uh, with executives helping out, a kind of mentor program uh, for other businesses. Tell us about how this program works. We're sharing our experience in business. Most of us have a lot of it. And we're mentoring and counseling small businesses and small business people. Mm -hmm. uh, we try to work with them and make suggestions and find opportunities and, and uh, unravel snags and, and help small businesses grow and particularly help small businesses succeed in the Topeka community. And Bill, what, what sector did you come from? Like, what, what, what did you do before you were helping out here? For about 50 years, I was a banker. Oh, and um, here for about 14, uh, 13 years uh, back in the 1970s and then elsewhere for the rest of that time. Yeah. Now you talked about eliminating snags because I think a lot of people think, oh, I can do this. I can be a small business owner. But you're kind of like a filter where you kind of help them maybe, you know, tweaking things a little bit to make it a successful business. Yeah. Yes, that's a, that's a good way to put it. We also try to find other resources that we can't provide to help the small business people. And we rely on our friends and on other people that we know in the community who may have the, the expertise to provide to our uh, client. How important is it as we see a lot of, uh, you know, corporate you know, structures coming in for these smaller businesses here, making the climate a little more difficult. How important is it for us to be able to provide the climate that allows Topeka to have uh, small businesses prosper here? Well, it's very important. Nationally, over 50% of the economic activity is, is done by small businesses. 50% mm -hmm. uh, of the, or slightly less than 50%, slightly more than 50% of the employment and slightly less uh, then 50% of, of GNP or GDP is produced by small businesses through, not, throughout the United States. It's particularly important in Topeka. Uh, we're not a small business community. One of my friends tells me frequently that we have fewer home-owned businesses on Wanamaker than all but two of the 250 metropolitan statistical areas. Wow. We're a community of, of state, of government, uh, of education, uh, and of medicine. And there's not an awful lot of entrepreneurial encouragement that comes from those sectors uh, of the economy or community. I worked in Wichita for uh, the same length of time, had the same job in Wichita that I had in, in Topeka. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's good to compare the economies of the two cities. Uh, Wichita is a tremendously entrepreneurial town. Mm. Uh, you think about the companies that have come from Wichita, the Boeings, the Beaches, the Cessnas, uh, the Pizza Huts. Mm -hmm. uh, the oh, I didn't even realize they came from there. Yeah. The, the, the Renner Centers. We've had good companies come from Topeka, too. Uh, uh, private brands, uh, 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 the shoe company. Yes. Mm -hmm. We've, all, we've also Collective had our, our utilities and several insurance companies. Uh, but we just haven't had that brunt of entrepreneurial breadth that uh, other towns have had. Mm -hmm. So we're trying to encourage entre entrepreneurialism in the Topeka community. <laughs> we have a couple of people that we work with. Mm -hmm. One is the Washburn Small Business Development Center. Yeah. They're an excellent resource. They have a staff. They're also sponsored by the Small Business Administration, uh, which we're sponsored by. Mm -hmm. uh, but they have a full-time staff, so we encourage people to f develop their business plans working with that full-time staff. The Chamber also has a, uh, a economic development system, brand new uh, well, she's been here now a year, uh, a brand new gal that is 
experienced in developing small business programs. And I'm looking forward to good results from uh, Glenda. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But this is all really important stuff because really the main factor when it comes to starting your own business is do you have the money, do you have the capital to be able to get something going? And that's kind of where you're guiding people is, is to make sure they can get some of that, have access. I spend a lot of time doing that, but you would be surprised that isn't the case in many instances. Mm. I, I, I cringed when you said that a little really? bit. Really? Yeah, I do, I do yeah, yeah. Why do you say well, that? Well, let him tell. Uh, I bet we agree. They, people have ideas. They have their own resources. They have experience. Um, they may have some savings. But if they don't have savings, they can look to their own savings first and then their family and then friends people who want to see them succeed, people who are interested in the development, or the professional, vent professional venture capitalists. Mm -hmm. So there are a lot of different uh, sources of money, but most of the people that we see are in their early stages. They're true entrepreneurs, they're by themselves. Mm -hmm. They're just starting with an idea that perhaps, hopefully, they have some expertise and experience in. And, uh, Actually, my friends in, in SCORE, my associates in SCORE, do more work than I do because they, one of the most common needs is for marketing experience mm -hmm. and ideas and suggestions. We put on a SCORE roundtable once a month. It starts at 8 o'clock on the first Saturday of each month. It was, it was last, last Saturday. Uh, it starts at 8. It's 90 minutes of conversation between clients and counselors talking about the problems, the opportunities of small business people. But most of what people, our clients, ask for in those conversations are ideas about marketing. One of our volunteers, Forrest Thurber, uh, really coordinates that, that program and does a good job of providing marketing ideas. And then people feed off themselves mm -hmm. <laughs> with ideas that they've developed and that they think will work, and it's it's a good cross cross analysis system for the for the clients that we have. We have normally about fifteen clients on that Saturday morning, hmm. right. and through the years, uh, this is our fourth year, I think, and through the yeah. years, it's developed very well. Yeah, yeah. it's one of those things you, you, you pop the that. box open and you teach people how to look outside of it. You know. It, I think a lot of times, first of all, money, it's more important is the passion, right? Yes. You know, the, the, the entrepreneurs need the passion because the money he will come, passion. the he money will follow it. the passion. If you really, if you've really got it there, people will notice that, you know, you really have to have that passion for, for your idea, you know, but so many times people have that strong passion and they're so driven to keep their passion going that they need somebody to help them poke their head out of the box and think in other ways to help them move their passion to the next level. Chris, that's very well said. They yeah. need someone to open the box for them. Yes. And it, that's all it takes. Yeah. Someone who is interested in them, who is willing to help them, uh, who's experienced and give them some ideas uh, probably and perhaps. Uh, we have one young man that came to me after, after one of the meetings. He has a full-time job, probably still does. But he said, you know, I'd like to sell soda pop. And he said, not the ordinary soda pop, but vintage soda pop, labels that aren't on the store shelves anymore. We know this guy. Yeah, I think we know I, this guy. I think Brian Adams has <laughs> done very well. Absolutely. Yes, he has. You know, and I have to say, when when uh, I had spoken to him before all of this, and you know, in, in my mind, because I've I've been in this you know entrepreneurial business for a long time, and and when I was hearing his idea, I was like, there's no way. <laughs> I didn't have the passion he did, you know, and that passion mm -hmm. is what made it possible, right? I mean, do you see that a lot? Do you, do you get these ideas what? where hey. people are putting them in your face and you're like, but you but you help them look outside the box and he's one of the he's he is one of the f most fun people that I've talked to and watched through the years. Yes, but we have a lot of people that have taken the courses, the entrepreneurial courses uh, through. Uh, the uh, Washburn SBDC uh, or through the Chamber's uh, Go Topeka program, and they go through these courses and they take one step at a time. There's one thing about small business. It's 24-7, mm -hmm. 365, mm -hmm. and your salary comes out last mm -hmm. until you earn it. 
So you've got to learn, understand, and accept the risks and the disappointments of which there will be many. Yes. But if you have that passion and that desire to succeed and to work for yourself, mm -hmm. and as I listen to people talk, the primary motivation in most instances, they don't want to, they, they want to be their own boss. Yeah. They want to make their own decisions. They don't want to sit at a desk mm -hmm. and, and not have any responsibility or accountability that depends on someone else. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's so true. It yeah. really is. But it is a, this is a great thing that people have access to, that they're able to chat with someone who has, you know, worked up through the ranks doing, you know, your own career in your own right. And then you have another friend who's, you know, who was a CEO of a company he just left. Um, but it's just, it's good to have people from all different career angles that are able to help that one entrepreneur. Absolutely. Now, we don't do this because we don't have this many customers, but I was in Wichita Thursday night for their annual meeting. Uh, and as a former Wichita, I can relate to their economy. One of their SCORE volunteers has, has counseled 600 people Ooh. in a year. Much wow. of this is by email. Wow. We telephone face-to-face. -face. I'm sorry, we counsel face-to-face -face by telephone and by email. Uh, and uh, the Wichita chapter uh, talked to 629 people during the fiscal year. Off, our fiscal year is uh, September 30, uh, October 1, September 30. Uh, we don't do that many, and, and most, of our, most of our counseling is face-to-face. -face. Mm -hmm. uh, but we hope we're going to make a greater impact on small business, working with with uh, with it's the uh, quality of SBDC. that interaction. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a good way to put it mm -hmm. too. We have to work together. We have a small business to run, and it's interesting. Score is one of the very few not-for-profit businesses that does not have a paid executive. Wow. Yeah. We don't have any employees. We're all volunteers, and one important thing about our services, they're all free. Oh, yeah. yeah, it's amazing. Yeah. It doesn't it's cost really you anything nice to be talked to or to talk to us. Yeah. yeah. But I mean, you think about the wealth of information that you're getting. I mean, all of you have had spectacular careers, you know, learning different things and gone through different eras, and you're able to bring all of this information to somebody who really needs it. Yeah. One of the reasons we do this, we want to give back to the community. We've lived here. Uh, we've profited by the community and in our own careers, and now it's time for us to turn the tables and hope that other people can profit in the same way we can, using our help. Yeah. Well, so many people in the generation, uh, you know, from the retired folks, uh, and as we said, it's not only retired folks here <laughs> who are helping, uh, but so many of the of the retired business folks that I've uh, come had the pleasure of meeting here in this community, they worked their whole careers not merely for themselves, but they wanted to leave something a little bit better for the next generation, and and I think that is uh, it's evident in what you guys do with Score, and it's something that that needs to be passed on to the next generation. Generation so that as we're looking at things, it's not about us, it's about our community, right? Yes, that's very much. Yeah. One of the things that, that in one of my banking jobs, we were looking for places to buy banks. And one of the measures of each community that we use very widely was the effect of its community way, the United Way. Mm -hmm. uh, we thought if that was strong, it showed the overall charitable nature of the community. We have a good United Way. We have a charitable community that's willing to give to each other. Mm -hmm. yeah. We certainly do. Well, it's so amazing. It's so great to have you here and to chit chat about this so that we know that this is available to so many people. You talked about your first Saturday of the month. Where do you meet at? We meet at 5724, which is Washburn Tech's address on Huntoon. Okay. We meet their buildings that face Huntoon, and we're in the easternmost building A. Um, of, of Washburn Tech uh, on Huntoon. We would welcome all of you to come join us. You'll find it to be a fascinating 90 minutes, a very lively conversation. Yeah, yeah. Well, excellent. I think it's so great. And of course, where can we find you on email? You, or you can find SCORE. You can find uh, SCORE Topeka 342 at gmail.com. Right. You can also find SCORE Topeka.org 
uh, on the internet. Scoretobega.org, and then if you're working with the Washburn Small Business Development Center, you know, make sure you're exploring your options with SCORE. And I'll give you, that, that's another telephone number that we use. Mm -hmm. Our own telephone number is 234-3049, and the, uh, the SBDC number is 234-3235. Any of those numbers will reach us, and you'll have a response within 24 hours. Very oh, good. I think that's absolutely wonderful. Well, thank you so much, Bill Bunton. And for I, I have us. one quick question. Oh, for I'm you. sorry. Yes. Your, name, your name's Bill Bunton, but you're not Mayor Bill Bunton. What's it been like living here in Topeka when your name is, is the, the first same thing as the mayor? I do introducing myself is say I'm not the mayor. <laughs> It's probably nice now that he's not the mayor anymore. You don't have to say that all the time, but too, pin, too many people remember him as the very successful and good mayor of yes. years past. It's good no then to, to have a reputation behind it then. Yep. So very yes. good. <laughs> well, thank you so much. And of course, we just chatted about Score Inc. You can find out more information of all the things that we just chatted about in the interview. Thank you again, Bill Bunton.